<laughs> Hi, I'm Josh Harrison. I've been an engineer here at Brian Electric for the past few years. Um, working with such bands as The Cure, Royal Blood, British Sea Power and Blood Red Shoes. One of the best things about this studio is uh, the fact that it's a rehearsal studio as well. So we've got the biggest range of backline you could possibly imagine. Probably over 50 to 100 different amps to choose from. And loads of different kits, loads of different snares to choose from as well. And cymbals. So not only is it just a recording studio, we've got all these things to pick from to get the sound that's just right for you. Also what's so good is the range of outboard gear that we've got here. So this 1970s Neve console between 74 and 75 one of the last broadcast tests they ever made. And then lots of different outboard gear between modern classics and vintage classics as well. You know, you might have the same plugins at home, you know, a UAD 1176 plugin or an LA2A plugin, but there's nothing quite the same as getting your hands on a real one. It's these breakups in the signal that analog gear has that give it this, give it, give it this randomness that a plugin will never do because it's computer based, you know. There's a reason we have all this gear, and it's not just to look good. We use it on sessions, we track with it, we put it in the audio, and we think it makes a huge difference on how good your recording can sound. The mic range is massive. We've got two cupboards for each independent studio, with a bit of leeway in between. But again, there's just anything you can possibly imagine, we've got it. Ranging from £4,000 microphones to just your standard 57, and everything in between. So when it comes to recording bands, my favorite process is having demos recorded that I listen to, go through them, they can just be rehearsal demos or anything, and then I sort of break through the track and then work out how we can improve the song. I might come to a rehearsal session so we can work through it together, even just change slightly different elements of structure and tempo, different musical things. Then after we've got that, come into the studio, we'll do some guide tracks for the drums, track the drums really well, make sure they're bang on and perfect, and then layer stuff on top of that, with the vocals and guitars and all those kind of things independently. Personally, for me, I think what I pride myself most on is creating an environment that's more, more relaxed and more personable. So when we're in the studio, there's no anxiety, there's no stress, it's just super easy, it should be fun, we should be enjoying ourselves, and that's, what, that's the way that you can get the best takes that make the best music.